Hello my beautiful butterflies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Beverly, and it is lovely to see you today. In this video I'm going to be attempting to do a painting for Hecate, so grab that cup of tea, let's get to it. <laughs> working with Hecate for about six months or so now. At first I was really nervous to work with her. She's quite a dark energy and she kind of forces you to face your fears, face your shadow and face the sides of you that you tend to hide away from. And at first I didn't want to work with her because of that. I was quite scared. And because I wasn't jumping to work with her is why I'm choosing her to do a painting for first. I really want to let her know how much I've appreciated how she's worked on helping me to face my fears, helping me to be the best version that I of myself that I can be and just helping me to really step out of those fears that I always have had and to start really living my life to the fullest. It's been amazing feeling this transformation in my life. So I am basing my painting on this beautiful card. This is from the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck and this beautiful card is about facing your darkness. I want to do like a crossroads. This will be a lantern or a light on fire and then the moon above is kind of how I want to do it. We're going to be doing it on these. I got this pack of four canvases for £3.99 from, I think this is B&M with the blue, for £3.99. So let, you know, like a pound each. And I thought I could do a little painting for each of the deities that I work with. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing a painting for Hecate today. So I'm really, really excited for that. I cannot wait to share that. And this painting is very much inspired by one of my favourite YouTubers who is Magical Crafting. I've talked about them before on the channel and I will leave a link to their channel down below because they're just incredible creators and they just did a painting on a live stream for Bridget. So I just really admire the way they really bring their art into their channel and their witchcraft really shines through. So very much go and check them out. The link will be down below. But before we get to the painting, which I'll be honest, I'm quite nervous about. I'm also not in my fancy clothes. I'm in, I'm in like casual clothes, which I never wear. But um, I'm just really, really excited to do this. But don't forget, if you're new here, you can click the subscribe button to become part of the Butterfly family. We would absolutely love to have you here, so don't forget to leave me a like and a comment. And also check out my Ko-fi and Patreon, where you can give me a little bit each month that would help with the running of this channel and my blog. A big thank you goes out to Ravin. Thank you so much for being my first Patreon. I just... Oh, I don't have words for how much I just want to give you a big hug and say thank you. So take this internet hug from me. Thank you so much for your support and for believing in me. So uh, let's get to the painting, shall we? So the first thing I need to do is draw out the picture based on this card. So I want it to have, be flat. And I want there to be a road. Do you go like that? Yeah. But I want it to be a crossroads, so maybe if I go like that, would that show it's a crossroads? Yes. It's so, alright, that's that the other voice is my husband who's an artist who is helping me because I am not a drawer. But um, we're doing our best. And over here will be the moon. And then here, I want there to be a torch because one of Hecate's symbols is a torch. Um, do you, do you know what I mean? You know when it goes like that and then there's all flames. How do I show, do that? Like that. And then flames. Like that. Yeah. 
so there we go <laughs> so we've got can you see we have the crossroads and then we have a torch and ooh, the moon okay let's get painting what do we do and how do we do it <laughs> bear in mind guys this is my first time ever painting this is what you call it acrylics yeah this is acrylic paint that we already had because like i say my husband's a, a artist is that all right yeah still see the pencil, does it matter? It's not in the line. No. It's a wooden pole. See? Okay, so now we're doing the night sky.
So there it is, my painting. And if we put it beside inspiration picture, I think I did quite a good job. Let me know what you think down below. This is the best of my ability, by the way. I am not the best at drawing, but I wanted to show it was a crossroads and I wanted to show that, you know, some people believe that she works with the moon and I know that Torch is one of her signs. So I just wanted to try and show all of that in the picture. I'm really proud of this. I think it came out so, so well. So let me know all your thoughts and feelings down in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you're an artist, please be kind. I know I'm not somebody who is talented at painting and art, but I'm really proud of this picture and hopefully Hecate will really like it. So what I will do is when it is dry, I will add the sigil that I created for Hecate. I know she has an official sigil, but I made my own. So I'm gonna add that to the painting and I'm also going to add my signature to it as well in pen. So those will be added to it and it'll be hung above my altar, next, above where her little area is on my altar. So definitely make sure you keep your peepers peeled over on Instagram and follow me over there so you don't miss that picture of the picture up in its pride of place. And yeah, I'm going to be doing two more paintings, one for Archangel Michael and one for Diana. So if you're interested in more of my artwork, although I'm not quite sure why you would want to be. <laughs> But yeah, if you would like to follow my art journey here into art witchery, I've got so many DIYs and crafting that I have planned in my head. I've got so many things that I want to try out of the art witch book that I did a review of. So I'll leave a link to that video down below. But there's so many little things that I want to try out of there and things that are just in my brain. So yeah, I hope that you will stick around. I'm getting tired. It is night time here. It is pitch black dark outside and I need to have my tablets and go to bed. So I think I'm gonna head off. But let me know down below everything that you think of this painting and if you've ever done a devotional painting for one of your deities, how it came out, was it anything like you imagined? Let me know all the things down in the comment. While you're down there, don't forget to leave me a cheeky little like so I know that you enjoyed my video and YouTube will as well and so it will share out my video a bit more. And don't forget, last but last least, <laughs> If you like my content and you like my little face, head down below, click that subscribe button, ring that little bell so you always know when I upload. I'm usually here Mondays and Fridays, my health permitting. I always do my very best to be here with you every week twice a week. Take care everyone. Don't forget to stick around. I have picked out a video and a playlist for you to have a look at. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.